Hello, my name is Nicole Stout, and this video is about the six weeks of prep that I do going into tournaments. Um, this video is specifically referencing the competition that I went to in Antalya, Turkey. Uh, I started the six week prep at 77 kilos and ended up fighting at 70. So it's also a good video on how I cut weight because it ended up being a really, really easy cut at the end, which was nice. And I felt really good. So in short, uh, my game plan is week one and two, I up the intensity like crazy uh, for weightlifting and judo specifically. Um, really focusing on getting lean, losing um, fat mostly if possible. Um, and again, I'm going into the 77, so by the end of week one and two, I'd like to be somewhere under 76. Um, week three and four is kind of mid-intensity in terms of judo and weightlifting, still very much cutting weight. And hopefully by the end of week three and four, I'm somewhere under 75 kilos. Um, week five is low intensity uh, in terms of uh, judo. I stop weightlifting, really trying to make sure I'm not getting injured going into the tournament. Um, really incorporating a lot of cardio to make sure not only am I losing weight, but I'm in good shape. Um, I stopped taking creatine in terms of my supplements uh, because that holds a lot of water. And by the end of week five, I ideally like to be somewhere under 74 kilos. And week six is the beginning of water loading, um, super low carb at the towards the end uh low sodium as well so that way i'm losing as much water as possible of course traveling uh really resting cardio uh and of course weigh-ins how you recover after weigh-ins and then competition pretty simple so thank you for watching and here we are <laughs> okay <laughs> this is officially week one and this will be the intro for week two too so um i'm currently in my pajamas they are very comfy so don't judge me too harshly um i am going to be filling up my supplements for the week today the star of the show <laughs> beta alanine by sr carnison um in the color white uh <laughs> so this I am very much known for taking quite a bit of this actually. So I take eight pills throughout the entire day, generally two at a time, and I pack them in as four and four, four in the morning, four in the evening. We're gonna do an iron supplement, really basic. Next is fish oil. This is BCAAs. Two. Um, next is creatine. This is HMB. All right, next we have glucosamine chondroitin. And then next is CoQ10, uh, vitamin D3, and the last one for today, vitamin E. So that's the supplement for week one. And one of the most important parts is arguably my workout routine. So. For week one and two, every morning I'll be starting off with some yoga to get a good stretch. I will be going to judo at least four times a week, really trying to focus on my throws and having high intensity workouts. The rest of the weeks are meant to taper down in order to peak for tournament, but these two weeks should be hard. I also am going to be weightlifting three times a week with some rowing for cardio at the end, but the majority of my cardio will be coming from me attempting to do workouts at home, which has been actually super efficient during these COVID times and honestly leaves me exhausted. Good, ooh, 
Ooh, this, sorry, this is the first time I've talked all day. <coughs> that was weird. Okay. Good morning. So I thought I'd give a quick example of what a quick breakfast for me looks like, especially because um, I'm on my way out to go and do some throws at the dojo. So it used to be nice and light, but also with lots of protein, low calorie, blah, blah, blah. You get the gist. So let's see. Can I turn this around? <laughs> so, um, what's essential? This is full of fair life, fat-free milk, nice low calorie, high protein. I get a custom protein powder from Gainful. It has 24 grams of protein, it's super lean. I think it legitimately has like only, um, yeah, one carb, that's insane. So, super cheap. And then I like having it with um, the matcha green tea flavoring because that goes really well with what I tend to have it with, which is I have this little um, 35 calorie miso soup, which is really nice um, on cold mornings like every morning here. And I have a sweet and salty seaweed package that's like only 20 calories. So yeah, my breakfast as a whole is about 200 and. 45 calories, but it also has a ton of protein because the Fair Life has like 13 and the protein powder is 24, so it's like 37 grams of protein because I'm pretty certain the seaweed and the uh, soup don't have anything. It's just purely for, I don't know, taste, sodium, warm. So yeah, so that's an example of uh, a quick breakfast that I do. Um, Maybe I'll do some of my other meals. I don't know. Those tend to vary, but the breakfast is pretty standard. <laughs> so something else that I try to do, and this is just for all the weeks, um, particularly leading into a high level competition. I have a document that has all the names of the top um, 60 girls in the division. And I try to update that every few months because that changes and I have a goal of watching one of those girls and taking notes and stuff a day at night um, or I guess in the evening but you know sometimes I don't not every night because I have homework but I try to do it as best as I can I'm trying to see if I can oh no hold on Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can kind of see it. So this is, ooh, there we go. This is like my, oh my gosh. My mouse is no longer working. There we go. So it's like, this is like what I've gotten done so far. So each of those like boxes, that's a girl. And I still have a lot to get done. So <laughs> I'm going to get back to work, but that is continuously done throughout the six weeks of um, tournament prep because I need to know who I'm fighting. <laughs>